Locking someone in jail costs you millions of dollars every year, but some say many of those people in jail shouldn't be there. Yeah, and tonight, News 2 investigator Rebecca Collette finds out just how expensive an unnecessary lockup can be and what steps are being taken to reduce the cost to you, the taxpayer. Good evening. Research is happening right now to make sure the people that should be here stay here, but the people that shouldn't be in jail aren't. And making those changes could save us millions of dollars in tax money. It's commonly thought, do the crime, do the time. But new research revealed 70% of inmates here at Alcuna Detention Center aren't convicted of the crime. And spending just one night here can have a ripple effect on the whole community. Missing one day, two days of work can be the difference from somebody being able to pay rent to being homeless. Judge Ellen Steinberg is part of a group focused on reforming how we use our jail. The Charleston County Criminal Justice Coordinating Council aims to lower bookings by 25 percent, reduce time served awaiting trial, and address the disproportionate number of blacks and whites. Across this country, everybody realizes we need to pay more attention to how people are treated in the criminal justice system. Black people are 4.8 times more likely to be arrested and booked into the detention center than their white counterparts. The national average is 4.3. The group outlines six steps to take over the next three years to overhaul how nonviolent offenders are handled in the jail and court system. Those steps include reforming police practices, creating a center to be used in lieu of jail, and launching a court reminder system to decrease arrests for missing court. That court reminder system would have made a huge difference to 80-year-old Jean Gaston. She was charged with stealing a $7 item from the Dollar General. When she missed court, police arrested her. The average night stay in jail cost taxpayers $94.51. Other goals are updating the bond setting process, reducing time to get to court, and sharing data between agencies. The group was awarded a $2.25 million grant to start the process. The report found not everyone locked up here should be. There are 73 bookings per day into the Charleston County Jail for low-level offenses like failure to pay child support or loitering. Cost you a lot of money. Low-level offenders occupied more than 78,000 days in jail. Project Director Christy Danford says there are better alternatives to jail. Well, one of the initial ones that we have that's already being piloted is the use of sight and release on low-level offenses so that the officer has the discretion not to bring somebody to jail. When previously they didn't have that op option. Another alternative is a triage center. These are the individuals that churn in and out regularly for very low level charges like trespassing or open container um, and they have chronic pervasive issues. Maybe it's homelessness, maybe it's mental illness, maybe it's addiction. The report identified 631 frequent flyers booked into the jail five or more times between 2013 and 14. And while determining the exact savings to you is complicated, the Vera Institute of Justice gives an example. Between 2008 and 2014, the inmate population in Hampton County, Massachusetts, which is similar in size to Charleston County, declined by 30 percent. The total annual jail savings? $16 million. Charleston County is one of 11 jurisdictions across the country to get this grant money. They also want to use some of the money to help defendants get access to attorneys faster and to resolve cases faster so that people aren't just sitting in jail waiting to go to trial. From the Alcannon Detention Center tonight, Rebecca Collette, News 2.